new videos every day. Okay, this is Athena Jezik and there's a little bit of a shoulder issue that's going on today when she came in, so when Karina came in, so I'm going to look at that and put on a little bit of this lotion here. It's actually not a lotion, it's more of a salve, but it has coconut oil and some other different oils and it's a little bit more of a savvy consistency than an oil, even though there's a lot of oil in it. So we're just going to check the muscles along here, feel that there's there's some fluid in here, so we'll just do a little bit of lymph work to drain this particular area. It's always good when you work into a muscle that you do get the fluid out of the muscle before you work, which is another reason that if you're a professional body worker, this is a modality that you can insert into anything. You don't have to just give full lymphatic massages. You can also take the fluid out of an area, an injured area, and be able to work more effectively into that. So even though it's a shoulder, I'm going to check the muscles all along the back and work more in the upper, upper back. And here I'm just going along the edge of the scapula and up into the muscles that are on top of the scapula. It's, the scapula is a fairly good sized bladder type bone and a lot of the muscle on it lays on top of that bone. And there's some that lays underneath it and then of course there's attachments that come in around it. So I'm going to be pulling her arm back and I could bend it behind up on her back with her hand up but I'm going to choose to just lift it and work underneath and we're going to slowly just hold there's some knots there. Okay, there was what I found in there was a couple of little knots that I held in there with that uh, little bit of pressure on it, but not enough to overpower it. The whole shoulder, just from moving the lymph and doing that little bit, feels different to, to my touch. There's still some strain on the edge of the, it feels like the edge of the trapezius and maybe down into the rhomboid. I'm going to work with a little more unwinding techniques. And along here there's it's changing of her whatever she did she strained it pretty well the muscle has relaxed but it does have still some ten tension in some of the fibers of the muscle it's a little more easy to define when it starts to break down you can feel a little more where the source of it is coming from
this would probably be a nice little area to apply a cup. These are the cups that are used a lot in acupuncture. Um, I use them to pull muscles upward to be able to give some space in the deeper set of muscles. That feels even more different now than it did before. It actually doesn't have a lot of that... It wasn't quite to crepitus, but it had a bit of a crepitus feeling. That's all gone. The muscle is quite smooth. There's still a little feeling of puffiness in there. But it's completely in a different consistency, the way it feels, than when we started. Just to balance her out a little bit, I'm going to work this side as well. And there's a lot of nice release that comes from this part of the scapula where there's a little point, it's kind of a neglected area. It's just got some flat muscle across it. And I think that feels pretty good. The only other thing I will do is do a little range of motion. Picking this up and rotating. Seems to be a pretty good movement pattern. She doesn't seem restricted in any way when I take this. You can either feel the restrictions or you can see the person retreating or re recoiling back if there's pain. So without pain, it's moving pretty well. Okay. And there's a little bit to unlock tight muscle in the shoulder. This is Athena Jezik, and we just demonstrated work on shoulders.